Run Devils Run, that's the slogan for Coach Jerry Leggett's team and it fits the Blue Devils well. 6'10 All-American candidate Michael Payne is the team leader. When he isn't scoring himself, he's either setting up his teammates for baskets or putting the pressure on opponents as the point man on a 1-2-2 press. Bruce Douglas, a junior All-State guard, is Quincy's other superstar, but it by no means is a two-man team. All five Blue Devil starters are 6'3 or taller. Head coach Jerry Leggett stresses discipline on his team, and it appears to be paying off. Uh, we try to think that our practices are disciplined, our style of offense uh, is disciplined, and our defense is disciplined, and that's a, it's an imposed discipline on them by, by the coach and the system. And what we try to harp on in, in our teaching is that you also must develop along the way some self-discipline. In the last three years, the Blue Devils have only lost four games, and with all the recognition that has come their way, the pressure to win gets greater and greater. Uh, winners must constantly prove themselves. I think it's really true here at Quincy where they have the, the rich basketball tradition, but every team that comes down here to play or any place we go to play, they really you know, try to make you prove that are you as good as your reputation uh, is. And uh, we try to harp to the youngsters. Any time you, you step out there and the, and the ball goes up to the jump ball, you've got to prove yourself all over again. We try to make the, the national rankings and the state rankings help us. We tell the youngsters, okay, now the state rankings, fellas, the, the sports writers and the coaches, the other coaches who are voting this year thought enough of you to put you as number one. Now, you can't let them down. You've got to show that they were right in their estimation of your abilities. In the national rankings, we try to do the same thing. Somebody out there in Phoenix, Arizona, or Clearwater, Florida, somebody thought you were good enough to be ranked fourth or one, depending on which poll you read uh, this week, uh, in, in the whole country. Now, doggone it, we've got to live up to that. So we try to, to use uh, those national rankings. Quincy won the state title nearly 50 years ago, back in 1934, and they're the favorite to win it again this year. But are they the number one team in the nation? Well, just ask these guys.